In the name of the Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And the joy of speaking and sharing and contemplating about the greatest gift of all, the greatest prayer, as it is called, the greatest prayer, the Mass. True presence of God and man in the Eucharist. The priest asks Christ, offering Christ for the salvation of the world. What a joy, what a miracle of miracles. What a marvel of marvels that God has given us. And Our Lady and all of Medjugorje centers everything on the most important moment of our life. She says, prepare yourself minimum for one hour, says the Mother of God, for the most important moment of your life, the Mass, where you receive true God and true man, my Son, in the Eucharist. And she says, let the Holy Mass be your life. Fall in love with my Son in the Eucharist. Adore my Son. Our, Our Lady said, prepare yourself for one hour before the Mass. That's why we have the Rosary here in Medjugorje, Joy from the Sorrowful Mysteries, every day before the Mass. Our Lady says, you have to prepare yourself. In my other days, in my younger days, the Mass was not important. It wasn't important enough to go every Sunday. It wasn't important because my business was much more important. And what's the result of that? My children didn't go to Mass. Well, my kids said, Daddy, what did you do? Daddy, what did you do? Mm. And what do I say? What example was I to my children who don't go to Mass? And why don't they? Because Daddy didn't. That was the problem. I didn't teach my kids the love of the Mass. I didn't teach my children that the Mass is the most important thing we can do. I didn't teach them anything except here's more money, there's more spending, here's more toys. The Mass was not a focus in our life, and as a result, my children drifted away from the church. And all my daughter ever said, Daddy, what did you do? Mm. And those words just burned into my heart because they're true. They're true. I didn't make the Mass the focus it should have been. Today, yes, it's different, but it's very, very difficult to change after 30 years. It's very difficult to bring my children back to the church, back to the Mass. Slowly it's happening, but it's, it's a very, very big job. And what is so beautiful is that it is possible. Our Lady teaches us that the Mass has to be the center of our life. She teaches us that it's the most important moment of our life. She teaches us to prepare also with the prayer of the Holy Spirit. When she gave that message to the parish, please pray the prayer to the Holy Spirit before the Mass. After the Novena to the Holy Spirit, they stopped and she said, no, please always pray the prayer of the Holy Spirit before the Mass, because without Him, you can do nothing. And she says, live the Mass. And again, we repeat her beautiful words. My dear children, you be beauty, you be joy, you be love and hope, you be peace, and especially be prayer for those who do not know the love of my son and my love. When we receive Jesus in the living bread, he lives in us. And what is so beautiful here in Medjugorje and all of Herzegovina and Bosnia, when somebody comes back from the mass, they always have an expression that says, I bring a part of the Mass, I bring Jesus to you. And the response is always, may it be for our mutual salvation. Because there is a recognition that when we have received Jesus, we know that physically in the matter of the bread, he's present for a minimum of 20 minutes. So we are the walking, living tabernacles, monstrances that everybody can see. And that is why Lady says, remain in thanksgiving after the Mass because he's truly present in us and with us. She asks us to actively participate at the Mass, the greatest miracle of miracles. And she said, dear children, adore my son. Fall in love with my son in the most blessed sacrament of the altar. When you adore my son in the Eucharist, I'm closer to you than I am to a visionary. Great 
graces are being given to all of humanity when you adore my son. And here in Medjugorje, we are so blessed, so privileged that we have the adoration on Tuesday nights normally, on Thursdays, that we have adoration on Saturdays. And what's so beautiful is that the program that Our Lady gave that is lived here in Medjugorje is now adopted by many parishes throughout the world because in Medjugorje, we live normally, these are extraordinary times now during the pandemic, but normally we live every week as the Holy Week. That means that on every Wednesday we fast, like on Ash Wednesday. Every Thursday we have adoration after the Mass, like on Holy Thursday. Every Friday the parish has the Way of the Cross and we have veneration of Jesus on the cross, like on Good Friday. Every Saturday there is adoration like on Holy Saturday. And that is the joy that every week here is lived as the Holy Week. And so many priests have taken even in small part of how to celebrate the Mass, learning from Our Lady and her teaching here in this parish of Medjugorje, which she desires to be in the whole world, to prepare with the rosary before the Mass, to remain afterwards for prayers for healing, because at that point in time we have received Jesus and here always, except when the adoration or veneration is immediately after the Mass, we have prayers for healing. Mm, what a beautiful gift that God has given us, the Holy Mass, center of our lives, that we can be bread for others, that we are willing to be broken for others, that whoever receives a piece of us receives a piece of Christ, that everything we do may be like Him, that we no longer live, but He lives in us. O oh, Mother of the Eucharist, Mother of the Eucharistic love, give us your heart and your love to adore your Son with. Come and enter into our hearts each time we receive Him in communion, that you may receive Him and welcome Him, because we don't know how. Mother of the Eucharist, Queen of Peace, we love you. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. It was in the beginning, but now and ever shall be. Shall end. Amen. Amen.